if you're wondering whether you should retire or not and have been going through a couple of YouTube videos, I think this video is going to give you a point of view of someone that have retired before, which is myself. And on top of that, today I'm also helping people that are going to retire or people that have already retired on their journey towards retirement. So before we start, a little bit about me. I have been working in the financial industry for close to 20 years and pretty much what I do is teach financial literacy. So let's go to the first of three reasons on why you should not retire. So reason number one is financial stability. Quite honestly, if we were to look at our expenses, especially post the lockdowns, we can see that inflation have actually impacted our purchasing power. An example of this is let's look at our favorite food maybe the prices today versus the prices 10 years ago. I can safely say that the price probably more than doubled. And this is not only isolated to food prices, but also fuel and also medical expenses. I think another thing I should highlight is that as people get older, they will need more medical attention. And in the future, with medical costs getting more and more expensive, I think it's relatively prudent to be employed. The second thing is that the job market today is so much different than maybe five or 10 years ago. Let me explain. Today, I can see more and more people aligning their passions to what they are doing as a job, which is super amazing. On top of that, I can see more and more jobs being flexible, where it's both location and also time independent, whereby as long as we do our job at any time of the day or in anywhere in the world, could be a beach or could be the forest, we will still get paid. And this flexibility makes working so much more fun. And the third thing is mental health. To be very honest, when I first retired, the first thing which I did was I started waking up a bit later. And by waking up a bit later, I slept even later. And my days were filled with a lot of Netflix and just lazing around the house as I did not have any structure compared to my working days. On top of that, a lot of work friends which I see on a daily basis, I do not see them that much anymore. And being isolated also contributed to me being relatively depressed. 